welcome to the archer's choice. And like we said at the beginning, we're going to hunt antelope. Right from the ground and in the air? Right. We've got some ground hunts going on, and we also have you shooting your antelope in New Mexico out of a windmill. Oh, okay. I was just checking. That's why. Sure. And the first hunt, if you remember, Team Posse member, Team Posse member, Michelle Helen from our caribou show. Right. You know, and what's funny is Michelle shot two caribou on that. Right, right. And her husband, Art, hasn't shot a caribou yet. I know. I kind of like that. You know what else is kind of unique and, and different hmm. is that Michelle's antelope hunt is on film, and we don't have one for Art. Art. What are you doing? Let's get right into Michelle's in South Dakota. What can we say? They can see us from far away. It's like they're looking through their best set of Nikon binoculars all the time. They can stand up on a rise for hours just staring a hole right through you. Fast does not even describe these prairie girls, for they are times when you see them and then poof, they're gone. You go to draw and the next thing you know, the dust is flying and you still haven't released. Yes, you guessed it, we are talking about the pronghorn, or commonly called antelope. These critters are fast, they can see for miles, they can even jump the fastest bow hunting setup. But they have to drink, and if you are perched up in a windmill or set up at a double bow blind or a pit blind, you just might get an opportunity at one of these prairie goes close up and quite personal. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. <laughs> Let's continue on with Michelle's hunt.
Well, it looked like my shot was just a little bit back, so we let him lay for a couple hours. We're keeping an eye on him out there. It's starting to get a little bit dark, clouding over. We see him down out there. He's down. We're going to go out and take a look at him. Wow, he's beautiful. Hey, Michelle, congratulations. You go, girl. And yeah, like we said, go, we, we have four antelope hunts this And the next this one's show. a guy. Timmy, that's it's right. up to you, babe. Let's get go at it. Go for the guys. Go for the guys. The guys are going to do it. Okay, that's enough. The guys. Let's go. The guys. <laughs> Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. You go, Timmy. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you think he, he did good. Really, you you think think he did good. Well, check you know, out. Those yeah, are wait. a lot tougher to get than a buck. Yeah. Because they're... So check out what his better half Cheryl does now. Bummer. It's one o'clock in the afternoon and it's hot. We're gonna stay here till dark and hopefully we'll have one come in. It's my turn to shoot, so I'm ready to kill a big buck. We'll see.
making one more for the girls. Hey Cheryl, congratulations. Tim, Michelle, you all did a great job. And, and thanks now, for sharing those hunts with us. Yeah, thanks. And now, let's go on well, to the last punt of the show. It's Ralph's antelope punt. So we're going to see how it goes. Well, let's look at it, folks. It's bottom of the ninth. Two outs. Two outs? <laughs> Two outs. Well, it's guys against girls. Bases loaded. And old slugger boy is up. Check it out. Tomorrow's opening day, and we're going to try. We're doing a lot of scouting, just checking things out, and we're going to be setting up a bunch of blinds in different spots. But this windmill seems real active, and we've got to sneak up here to see what's going on. As we're trying to glass this whole day, and these guys have been here for the past few days, just, I mean, just trying to see, and we're getting somewhat of a pattern on a certain, a few of the tanks that they're really favoring over the other, all the other water that's laying here. So what we're gonna try to do is keep on here. We're, we're glassing. We've got more antelope going. They're looking right at us. You know, a lot of times we try to tell you is you gotta be more adaptable. And this is a situation like that. They have the blinds. Everything's established. The problem is with all this rain, these, these animals are going wherever they want to. So what we've gotta do is play, play, play our odds. And we're just gonna glass it. Like we've always said, you know, we'd rather you if you have a seven day hunt, if you spend one, two days of just glassing, you'll have five quality days of hunting instead of seven, not so good. So we're doing what we always say we're gonna. He's coming in. The sun is coming up on the horizon. We just busted a New Mexico prong one, and he's down right there. Yeah. Yeah, we're done. Yeah. Yeah, come and get us. All right. 2003, baby. <laughs> Today's technology is incredible. You know, instead of using the radios, a lot of these outfitters have gone, if they, if you have a cell phone, they tell you to bring it, just because it'll, it'll go out much further. <laughs> you talk about a fast hunt, folks. It don't happen like this all the time. I got a New Mexico pronghorn, it's down, and we are rocking. What are you 
doing? What are you doing? We didn't call you. We didn't call you. We got animals coming in. That wasn't us. That wasn't you. That was us. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't like that pig joke you were telling us? Yeah. We got you. <laughs> Well, guys, unbelievable. I mean, it just, as you can see, we've got all of our baggy loose clothes, our lightweight stuff, because we're dressed in layers. We figured it's going to be a long day. You know, oh, yeah. Yeah. We're going to start stripping down, and pretty soon we'll be naked up, you know, but <laughs> we won't go there. <laughs> we saw the animal come in. We spotted him. It, it was just pink light, and you could see him, and he was milling around around the cattle. You know, he, didn't, he wasn't going through me, but he came around, and I'm glassing, and I'm like, oh, no. He's coming, and we're worried about the light, and Vicky's, you know, like, oh, yeah, we're rocking. Oh, he went little. What a beautiful animal. Oh, man, nice. <laughs> Look at that, huh? You, you know, what's funny is people call them antelope, and they're really not an antelope. It's a pronghorn. Yeah. But who cares? Look at this. He had a little bit of, of a kicker here. Wow. What a beautiful animal. Thank you, big guy. Thanks, Travis. Welcome, <laughs> Thanks, Adrian. Unbelievable. Wow. Hey, congratulations. Thanks, you Chris. did a good yeah, job. I mean, you know. We had to be adaptable. And that's know? it. You know, and that's one of the things is because of the blinds that were set up that wasn't happening, you know, the cattle, the, the rancher moved the cattle in. So what we did is, you know, we had our HS netting, which yep. I want to tell you something, folks, is a great tip to remember. And that is, it doesn't weigh nothing. It doesn't take up any right. room. Package of that burlap and you're and done. And just always bring it. Bring, yep. a, bring a set of that because you never know when you can use a portable blind like that. And I mean, it paid you're off. Right. Look we, what we happened. We had to be adaptable. So, and it worked. For sure. It worked. For well, sure. congratulations again. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. We yeah, want to thank it. Michelle and Cheryl and Tim also for sharing their hunts with us Absolutely. and you. And we also want to remind you to stay tuned to come back next week, same time, same channel, right here on, on the, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice.